Yo guys, it is ExcelGX Legacy here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showcasing the Emperor ETR1 to you guys. This car came out yesterday as a part of the Cunning Stunts update, so without too much further ado, let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to be showing you is the car on the internet, it's on Legendary Motorsport, the ETR1, 1,995,000. When you buy it, you can choose between the dense livery and also the chronos livery. Both of them look pretty nice in my opinion. You can pick whichever one that you like the most. But don't worry, as you'll be able to change that later on and even take off the livery as I have here. So before we take it into customs, I'm going to show you guys the vehicle doors. This car has some pretty snazzy doors. Of course, we got the two doors to the actual car and then we got the hood. Unfortunately, there's no trunk. Also, the engine on this car looks very cool, if I do say so myself. But you might have a different opinion. But, uh, yeah, let's take it in on the customs now. In two customs. Alright, let's see what we got. This car has 20 customization. Of course, we got the armor and the brakes and the bumpers. So you have the stock, the racing canards, which adds like these little carbon fiber panels to the sides. And then the canards and intercooler, which like takes off the black grill and exposes the intercooler. Personally, I went with stock because I'm trying to make this car actually look like a street car, like the Lexus LFA, and not so much as a race car. Then for the rear bumpers, you have the stock, and then you can choose if you want to add a tow hook on there. I personally have the stock on. Next up, we got the exhaust. You can choose between these titanium, which is just like these big round exhausts, or, I mean, the stock, and then the titanium. The titanium sticks out a little more, and then it's titanium, so it has that, like, unique colorway. And also, I should note that the stock the exhaust is only on the left side of the car, no matter which option you choose. Next up, we got the hood. You can keep it stock, or go ahead and go with carbon. Carbon actually looks pretty nice on this car. I think I'm going to put that on there. And for livery, we got none, which is what I have. Dense, and then the chronos, I already showed those. And also, I should mention that if you change, if you put on the carbon hood, with the livery, it's kind of pointless because then it covers up the decals. Next up, we got the mirrors stock, color coded, which sets it to like the color of the car. Carbon, carbon fiber, and then the custom mirrors, which changes the shape. Personally, I think that the color coded looks the best. And next up, we got the spoiler. Of course, we got the stock spoiler. If you want to remove the spoiler entirely, that option is there for you. The low level, and the drift wing, and the GT wing. I think the GT wing looks the best because it keeps, it has like the color on it. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. For tires on this car, I went with the, the diamond cut sports rings, sports rims, and then I put black on them. And as for paint job, if you want to copy my paint job, I went with a classic cabernet, cabinet, cabernet, I don't know how you say that, red. So you can put that on there if you want your car to look like mine. And the secondary color, that changes like the skirts and the thing at the front. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, and also the secondary color changes the roll cage. But uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe as it really does help me out a lot. And you will not miss out on a future video just like this one. And uh, yeah. Also I should mention that in the interior on the steering wheel, we got like a little RPM tracker with lights. Like, as your RPM increases, the lights will light up. It's like when I'm not moving, there's none lit up. But if I'm revving my engine, they're all lit up. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this car. 
ETR1, in my personal opinion, this is a very cool car. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'm out.